Hello! Not much to talk about this week because the time of year and Animal Crossing and the kiddo was actually sick on Saturday. It's usually Saturday is my day. I've gotten to the point where I'm not turning the computer on on the weekends and Saturday is my big day to get up early and just start sewing all day. A little less so on Sunday, but Saturday, so since he was sick, it was, you know, what they call the 24-hour flu food poisoning. He was fine by Sunday, but he was sick on Saturday, so it was just spending the day being very quiet and waiting to see if he was okay and what he needed and what he didn't need. And so I did manage to get a little bit of sewing done over the weekend. I used some more of this cloth from that skirt I made that Valeska is wearing, and I have posted pictures of that. So these are Barbie and possibly Blythe size. Just randomness and they are going into the thanks sewing pile. But this, these, and actually the skirt of Valeska were made left over from what I intended to make from this cloth to begin with, which was this. 60 centimeter BJD size and yes it has working buttons there if you ask me which I might not be the best person to ask because I have a lot a, a bit of if experience sewing doll clothes and sewing human size clothes doll size buttonholes are not the problem the biggest problem with making button-up stuff, working button stuff for dolls, is finding the right size buttons. And these were a gift from someone. I'm sorry, I can't remember who. I mean, I have, over the years, I have collected a small assortment of small buttons suitable for dolls. A lot of them are actually from scrapbooking supplies. And my problem is I hoard them. But really, Nothing gives as smooth and realistic a closure as actual buttons. And there is interfacing in this. I don't know if you can see the interfacing here. Yeah, I should have finished this, but I didn't. Interfacing in it to give a little bit of body for the buttons, because if you're making a real shirt that you're making with buttons in it, you need to interface where the buttons are just so it's, it's a little sturdier. And the way I did the buttonholes, I do have an automatic buttonholer. The smallest size hole it can make is for quarter inch buttons. And these are, what are these? These are five millimeters, three sixteenths of an inch buttons. So a quarter inch buttonhole would just be too big. So the way I did these buttonholes is Okay, I was, I was bad, I just eyeballed the size. I decided that I set my machine on a very narrow and short stitch zigzag and I arbitrarily decided to count eight stitches before turning and then eight stitches up. And so I just made little squares, rectangles of narrow zigzag. I don't know if you can see this at all. But that's good enough for doll buttonholes, because doll stuff doesn't need to be quite as durable as human stuff either. I have not tried this on any dolls yet. I actually... The thing on Monday, Monday it was warm and sunny and not very humid. And I thought, okay, okay, I'm going to get a base sealer layer down on Miro Doll Mika and finally start working on her face. But I had other things to do on Monday and it didn't happen and then Tuesday it's cold and rainy now. So I was thinking that I would get Mika finished and she would wear the shirt and, and I haven't even started Mika. But I am still thinking about painting Mika. She is still standing on my desk. She's actually still wearing the same thing she's wearing at the end of the box opening video. I have... yeah. I can't remember if I had the eyes in her then. But she's, like I say all the time, dolls are patient. As I'm getting to the end of where I feel like I want to sew doll stuff, like so I'm trying to finish up the thanks sewing for people and get that out of my system because I'm starting to have ideas for what I want to paint dolls. Basically, it's, there's some dolls I want to all over paint that I didn't realize that I want to do all over paint, but now I do. So 
I might be getting, hopefully we'll be getting back to doll customizing soon, but I still need to make things to thank people, because there are a lot of people to thank. And I decided, since I'm winding down on my inclination to sew doll stuff, that that big bag I've mentioned that has all the cloth in that I'm trying to work my way through, I actually took a lot of cloth out of that and put it away in my doll cloth drawers. But there were a few pieces that I wanted to just get sewn and get it over with. Um, some of it included this, that, that giant grab bag of cloth that I thrifted a month or so ago. One of the things that tipped me, there were like five or six different bags I could have chosen from, but what tipped me over to this bag was this knit, which I thought that would be perfect for dolls. But then once I got it out of the bag, I couldn't decide which, which side was more hideously wonderful, this side or this side. So this I'm making into a cardigan with this as the exposed side. And I have already made, don't drop that piece. I have already made this sweater. Obviously it's pretty big if it can fit the Hujo IO, although I did grind her bust size down a little bit. And yes, this outfit is completely random, just with whatever skirt and socks that I happen to have that sort of kind of matched, but not quite. And the wig doesn't quite fit her either, but. So, if I ever get a male doll, this will probably be his sweater. But for now, Stella is wearing it. So I find that's, so that's one thing I finally got sewn. And this shouldn't take too long to sew. I hope not, once I get around to it. And like I said, I'm lazy and don't like to reload my bobbin, but I happen to have a bobbin full of an orange thread. So I use that, even though the spool I had of it ran out, but I had, I don't, I don't mind using different color on the top and bottom. As long as they're somewhat similar weights of thread, everything works out fine. So, I woke him up. He's not happy about this, but I thought people would like to see Chip. Hello, Chip. And, um. That's, I did stop in the thrift store today. I did not find dolls. I found a set of Marimekko sheets, fitted sheet, flat sheet, two pillowcases in the size for our bed for $5 total. I did, it's Marimekko for Crate and Barrel, but it's still Marimekko, so I was happy to find that. And I'm gonna go watch those now. Thanks for watching. Have a good week.